Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. North Dakota tribes buy $115 million worth of property on the Las Vegas Strip, which includes most of the Route 91 Harvest Festival site. But tribal leaders have no plans to develop the site. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer has more on how some tribal members think the money could have been better spent. The three affiliated tribes of the Fort Berthold Indian Reservation spent those millions without concrete plans. Now tribe members say the tribal government lacks transparency and contend there are plenty of needs back home in North Dakota. The MHA Nation Chairman Mark Fox has touted the economic opportunities that come with owning land in Las Vegas, but his administration has faced criticism over the venture. That money came from my bank, my purse, and I was never asked where they were going to spend it. Fox, who is now serving his third term, said in a statement that the Tribal Business Council prioritizes smart and sound investment opportunities to generate proceeds to support community infrastructure and programs, saying, quote, ultimately, as is the case with any governmental body, there will be those who disagree with what we do. My faith and confidence I had in my leadership doesn't exist anymore. Fox said as property values keep rising, the Tribal Business Council can reinvest those profits back into the welfare and sovereignty of our people. And now the feds are assisting in the investigation into a massive fire that destroyed an apartment building under construction in southwest Las Vegas in June. The Clark County Fire Chief confirmed the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives has been brought in to look into the huge blaze near the 215 Beltway and South Buffalo Drive, which burned for days and was seen for miles. Officials say a press conference should be held next week. Now a look at this week's new kickoff event for Clark County School District teachers at Resorts World. We're in the middle of negotiations right now. Um, so we're excited to get something done. Our, our hardworking teachers, our educators deserve a pay increase. I've said that in our state of the schools. I'm committed. My board's committed. We are going to welcome our kids and we are going to work hard. Our building principals, our staff, our central office administrators, our bus drivers. More than a thousand educators took part with the new school year starting August 7th. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Another hot day, some clouds rolling in, and temps set to fall to the 90s by around 11 tonight. Happy Friday. Some moisture in your seven-day forecast, but first, a sunny Saturday with a high of around 114 degrees. Similar temps on Sunday, but with some cloud coverage and breezes. On Monday, there's a small chance of rain, lasting through Tuesday. Back to sunny skies on Wednesday and beyond. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. A West Las Vegas community is ranked as one of the best selling of the nation so far this year. And that's none other than Summerlin. A new report shows Summerlin is the fifth best selling master planned community with 544 sales through June. However, that's an 8% drop from same time last year of 592 sales. Spearheaded by Texas based Howard Hughes Corporation, the Nevada region president says, He's especially proud of downtown Summerlin, with its sports venues, Class A office buildings, and roughly 125 retail shops and restaurants. Summerlin is in its 33rd year of development, with around 15 actively selling neighborhoods. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Raiders wide receiver Hunter Renfro quickly became a fan favorite after being drafted in the fifth round of the 2019 NFL Draft. A breakout season in 2021 helped solidify his role on the offense, but injury after injury derailed his 2022 performance. I didn't necessarily have a lot of fun last year, and um, I let a lot of my teammates down last year. And um, that's something that, you know, left a bad taste in my mouth and something that I want to get over and prove to them, you know, through the spring and also going into the season um, that they're that I'm a guy that they can count on and um, it's going to be consistent. In health sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Hope Means Nevada, a nonprofit focusing on eliminating youth suicide, hopes to teach students to practice mental wellness. 
This panel follows a previous discussion on how educators and community partners can support students' needs as they prepare to go back to school. Nonprofits have a lot of programs or trainings that um, the school district may not be aware of and, and vice versa, we not, may not be aware of um, the programs that CCSD has, so it's a way for us to share information um, and make sure that we're all working collaboratively together. Dr. Sheldon Jacobs also led the discussion with the Hope Means Nevada's Teen Committee. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Two Raiders defensive ends are among the favorites to win NFL awards this season. Max Crosby is the 12 to 1 fifth choice at Caesar Sportsbook to earn Defensive Player of the Year honors. And Tyree Wilson is the plus 653rd pick to be named Defensive Rookie of the Year. Jalen Carter and Will Anderson Jr. are the 5 to 1 co-favorites to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. And Micah Parsons is the plus 550 favorite to be named Defensive Player of the Year. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Two superstar athletes from different sports are coming together for a lavish party on the Strip. Review Journal's John Katsimidis tells us who. David Beckham and Shaquille O'Neal are co-hosting a VIP F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix viewing party experience at a new facility being built on the Strip next to the Flamingo from November 16th through November 18th during the F1 Grand Prix. The two will appear side by side and talk about their careers. The cost for this is $7,000, and that's because everything related to the F1 experience is elevated, including Shaquille O'Neal and his buddy David Beckham. And tonight, I sign off for the final time here on 7 at 7. It's been my pleasure to serve as the anchor for this show, and I hope you'll continue to watch as 7 at 7 will continue with the RJ team delivering all of your headlines each night and morning. Thank you for watching 7 at 7, and I wish you all the best. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.